I, uh, I bit the inside of my mouth. And I can't stop playing with it! <laughs> it's my crossed bear. <laughs> Welcome to the Gradual Report, where we gradually report. Pull yourself together, man. We've got a show to do. Do you want to rock? I want to rock! Sometimes very intelligent people act crazy. The last time I did that, I got fired from my job at the library. The man at the library said, No, no! You'll never work in a library again! And you know what? He was right. Every day, I wonder something. Today, I'm wondering, when did delivery become the standard with which all things pizza related should be measured? It's not delivery! It's DiGiorno! <laughs> you mean that, that frozen lump in the freezer, once radiated with heat in our oven, or perhaps its molecules rearranged in the microwave, became that delectable pizza I see before me? That's impossible! That must be delivery! I know! <laughs> it's not delivery! It's DiGiorno! That's a Marty Camp. <laughs> I mess up words sometimes. <laughs> Whatever happened to Luigi's, man? That was like sex and violence in a pizza. And they didn't just make pizza. They made hoagies. That's that's a long sandwich with a, with a bunch of stuff inside it. I remember one time I went into Luigi's. Brother of Mario, no relation to the Nintendo game. Let me get a pastrami sandwich. He starts putting these thick pieces of pastrami on the sandwich. And I was just like, dude, I... I've never seen pastrami like that. Like, where, where do you get it? He's like, I make it myself. <laughs> How do you make pastrami? He has a, a cedar cellar, which he fills with hickory smoke for three months while he lays thin pieces of pastrami over hickory boards and lets it just soak in all the smoky flavor. I bit into this sandwich. I could go into this whole thing about how you're taste buds die like every seven days and how your brain reconnects the neuro but let's just say <laughs> that was the best piece of pastrami i could taste the insects that had crawled across it while it was buried in the ground that's how much flavor it had it gave me things i had never experienced before in my mouth a little dirty <laughs> it's a little dirty <coughs> when Luigi's went out of business, I asked him, I said, Luigi, why? He said, Danny, I can't compete. 30 minutes or it's free? Come on. It takes me 45 minutes to cut the cheese. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> you like the knife I cut it with, though. <laughs> I, I grade the cheese from the gold Gonzola black. It takes me 45 minutes just to cook the thing. I can't compete. I gotta close. And then everything turned into delivery. Boy, that's the best I've ever had. Sort of. Surprise. It tastes, I don't know, the same. It's all the same. It's all yuck. But there are a few, a small cluster within the race of humanity, which choose to make their own pizza. And in making their own pizza, take back a corner of society that might be able to stomach a broader palate than just the delivery or DiGiorno options. But with Luigi's comes Papa Mario's, which was just rancid. So, you know, you're gonna have to sift through it a bit. Good luck!